Europe is on fire and I bet you think you have a handle on how bad it is. The thousands of acres are being consumed that many people have tragically died. No, it's worse than that. It's more apocalyptic than that. The wildfire that's currently consuming part of Slovenia is blowing up World War One and Two era bombs. Literally sweeping across the landscape and exploding the remaining ordnance. So on July 22nd, one detonated while firefighters were working nearby. Shrapnel buzzed them, but thankfully no one was hurt miraculously. It's just one of many such bombs that have exploded due to the fire. Officials have actually stopped counting the detonations due to their sheer number. They only mark ones that explode near roads. So they've given up on all of the other rural explosions that are happening from the wildfire. They're just focusing on the infrastructure related ones. But as of right now, more than 1000 firefighters and portions of the military of Slovenia are working to contain the blaze. It has consumed 5000 acres of land. And this area where the explosions are happening, there were 12 battles during World War One in that area. More than 200,000 people died. Untold numbers of explosives were used and thus it's impossible to say how many more remain. But it is insane to think how many people died in just that limited area was. And some might continue to die thanks to the fact that that uh, ordinance is being uh, blown up. You know, it makes me think about a lot of the unforeseen consequences that are gonna come of global warming, right? Like we have the stuff that 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 scientists have already told us about, you know, the rising sea levels, places like Miami being underwater in the most extreme cases, but like it's yeah. stuff like this that I think is even scarier that we don't even know to prepare for because of how disastrous um, the heating of the planet is going to become. And, and that's what struck me about this story is like, damn, like landmines, literal yeah. actual one, actual ones being blown up behind this is it's really, really scary stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also it's a reminder. Like we're we're focusing on this, you know, because of the the wildfire and the climate change related aspect. But it's a reminder that there are major parts of the world where there are unexploded landmines that take people's lives all the time. It's something that needs to be prioritized. And there's a lot of good work being done, a lot of dangerous work to get rid of it. Um, so as a reminder, in this particular context, we're not talking about the problems with like Cambodia and DMZ, all that stuff. Um, the Royal Air Force and the US Army Air Force dropped 2.7 million tons of bombs on Europe during World War II alone. And just in France, since World War II, 630 bomb disposal officers have died. So mm. these are people who are like the level of heroism and bravery is unimaginable. Literally hundreds have perished trying to save other people's lives by finding and removing these bombs and landmines and things like that. They think it's gonna take another 100 years to clear all of the munitions. It's almost been 100 years since the war. That is the long term impact of these sorts of conflicts. Um, but the situation with climate change isn't just the wildfires. We have uh, water and dryness, we're gonna talk about both of them. So uh, in the St. Louis area, there's been record rainfall. It is submerging cars and wrecking homes and leaving people stranded. In St. Louis specifically, they had more than eight inches of rain in just a short period of time. It is surpassing by a nice clip the city's all time one day record of rain. That had been 6.85 inches. It was set in 1915. So another you know World War II or World War One era bit of news. It took more than a century, but they did it. They got more rain. In one day, this sort of intensity of rain is supposed to happen once every 500 years on average. But of course, we have climate change. And let's pause for just one sec to get a little bit nerdy. Here is why you can get so much more rain thanks to climate change. Um, let's see, you've got the atmosphere being able to hold more moisture as temperatures climb, making it even more likely that significant records will be broken. More water vapor in the atmosphere means more moisture available to fall as rain, which leads to higher rainfall rates. So there's more water vapor there to be contained, there's more capacity to contain it, and thus you can get a lot more rainfall. But let's be clear, that extra water vapor in the air also comes from somewhere, and it's the drying that happens in other parts of the world. So Lake Mead 
has been uh, gradually lowering and lowering and lowering as it dries out. They continue to find human remains there, thanks to the fact that the water level is dropping. They found their third recently. The first, which was discovered back on May 1st, was found in a barrel and was likely a murder victim who died from a gunshot wound sometime in the mid 70s to early 80s based on clothing and footwear. Apparently a murder victim that was killed by someone who got away with it, it seems. They've also <laughs> found previously sunken boats, including a World War II era landing craft last month. So it all comes back to the world wars at some point was. But anyway, it is just, it seems indisputable. This is a problem that should be dealt with, but we're still not doing anything about it really. Yeah, I mean, you know, until this stuff happens in Joe Biden's backyard or, you know, to Hunter Biden himself, um, mm -hmm. I don't know <laughs> that any urgency will be seen. Like these guys, it's, it's funny because in our world, um, there's this live golf thing that the Saudis put together. And it's sort of their like vision 2030 of them like realizing like, Look, we can't just be a petrol state forever, which is just like an understanding of the direction everything is headed. Even the freaking Saudis have an understanding that, yeah, you know, we need to invest in something else because we can't have the petrol party forever. Yeah. Even the Saudis are doing it, right? Um, in their own twisted ways. Uh, the fact that we can't get it together to put some meaningful changes um, on the books is 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 a sad state of affairs. Yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. We have everything that we need. We really do. We really do, except for people whose financial interests lie in a different direction. People who are already like there is no future where these people, these CEOs, are not going to be so fabulously wealthy that they could never yeah. spend all their money if that was all that they tried to do. If it was a Brewster Brewster's billion situation, they still could not spend all their money. And yet, to have even more money, they'll never be able to spend. They will do must to end up in a barrel in Lake Mead, effectively. Devastating. Anyway, um, by the way, can, can you you were like joking, but can Hunter Biden please get flooded in St. Louis? Because at least then <laughs> Fox News would cover it, right? Like if climate change was happening to him in his bedroom, maybe they would have to talk about it all over right wing media. It would be great. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.